This brief video will describe the differences between a mortise cylinder and a rim cylinder and describe their functions as well. The mortise cylinder can be used in many different types of applications, uh, primarily in a mortise lock or any type of apparatus that requires uh, a cam to operate the locking and unlocking function of the lock. You'll notice the cam rotates on the back. This is what would activate the locking and unlocking mechanism. You'll notice the threads along the mortise cylinder, which allows it to be installed into a locking apparatus. And then the set screw is tightened down to secure the mortise cylinder in place. In the industry, we use a mortise housing tool to install the lock. It allows you to properly thread the lock into the locking apparatus while at the same time with reversing the tool you can now test the operation of the lock by rotating the cam. When you're complete you simply install the core and now your mortise cylinder is ready for function. The rim cylinder is a different type of device. You'll notice there are no threads on the outside of the housing and it is secured to the door with two screws. These screws do have notches which allow them to be shortened up to adjust for the thickness of the door. The rim cylinder is most commonly used in exit devices and panic bars, typically operated by a tailpiece rather than a cam. If you'll notice on the back there's a tailpiece that would go through the door into your locking mechanism and when rotated it would lock and unlock the hardware that is installed. And lastly, like the mortise cylinder, you would simply install your core and now your lock is ready for operation. Those are the two differences between the mortise cylinder and the rim cylinder. Thank you for watching.